budget angler here, a little bit um, warm to say the least. I'm out uh, down at uh, the little little urban creek, it's a little bit of the river Ingrebourne, um, out in East London Essex borders. I've not got too close to the water yet, I'm, I've just got here, I'm going to tackle up. It's a bit later than I wanted to be but I had to work until a bit later than expected but I've still got a couple of hours before it gets dark. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I've made like a tiny little trotting float, just like a little topper some people call them, in the style of an Avon I suppose with the, the body at the top and just a stem or a little stick bit. I'll show you that, it's just a skewer and a bit of balsa. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute and I'm just going to trot it through, I'm going to use a tiny hook, I'm going to use a little size 22 and I've got some leftover maggots, just the last few, it's a Wednesday today and I buy me maggots on a Thursday because um, the, they come in Thursday morning at my tackle shop so I like to get them fresh on a Thursday afternoon. And so by Wednesday what I've got are normally a bit dead and dying so I've got a couple of handfuls left and I thought I might as well get out and give them a go and do a bit of a kind of a urban creek micro fishing video so fingers crossed we'll get a few. Um, I only fished here once before and I got loads of little rud but I've had a look, I've been having a look with the old polarizer and I've seen minnows, I've seen some little river bream, I've seen chublets, dace, um, so something which might have been a perch and there were a few little fish scattering around so maybe there's something chasing them. I have got um, some lures with me. I only got my float rod but I've got a slightly heavier reel than I would normally use so I might put a trace on and just wiggle a little a little rubbery soft plastic through just to see if there's anything there but we'll, we'll, we'll stick with the bait first and see how we get on. Right, first cast then guys, this is the float there, you can see one number four is the shot for it, it's just a tiny bit of kebab skewer and a bit of a verbascum stem and I've just uh, varnished it, it's one of my early attempts and it's just a little brass safety pin, there's the eye at the bottom and I've just got a single maggot on a size 22 hook. Oh, little bite there guys, I think, just to, yeah, we're in, oh no, gone, not what that was. Oh, is that a fish or is that, oh, blimey. Now that is tiny, and we've got there guys, believe it or not, that is actually I'm, trying, I'm going to try and show you this without dropping him. There, that is a microscopic chub. That is a tiny little chublet, and that is that is great. Hopefully, there are there are bigger ones in there. He's brilliant. Let's get him back. Oh, <laughs> not not a whopper, but slightly bigger. And swallowed the hook. There you go, guys. A beautiful little rub there, only a tiny one, but he's absolutely perfect. He's slightly golden and green with his upturned lip. What a beautiful little fish in the sunlight! Lovely. Oh, hello. It's not a bad fish, swipe my hand. Hey guys, there another run. There you go, guys. Another little rud there, the smallest one yet, but at least I've managed to get hold of him and show him, show him to the camera. Lovely little thing. Oh, hello.
I think that's the biggest one of the day. Only an absolute tiddler, but still a very, very welcome fish. And on a day micro fishing, this is great. Brilliant little fish. There I go guys, will you give me a give me a bigger one for that or not? Maybe not. Still brilliant though. This is great fun. This really does take me back to being a little kid again. This is lovely. I'm really enjoying this. There you go guys, another new species for the day, a tiny little roach. So uh, that's uh, another one ticked, that's three today, not bad, three species. Got one. Roach. There you go, guys. Another little roach there. Only a tiny one. We've just just moved spots. I've met me mate Lee, King of the Ingerborn, and we're just going to have a little look at some of these pools. This is this is great fun after work. Well, guys, uh, not finished just yet. Going to go back down the other side. That's the uh, the uh, Ingerborn Valley, sort of wending its way that way, and it goes all the way off back down there. I don't even know where I am, to be honest. Somewhere in the Essex, East London borders um, cycled out here. I found some fantastic little holes. Um, you would have seen, well, hopefully I've got some footage of me catching a few little tiddlers there. Um, just had a little nibble under this bridge. I mean, you know, there, there's definitely some, bound to be some bigger fish in there. I had a bit of intel that someone caught, so if you can apologize for getting a bit of wind there, um, uh, caught some really nice chub on a quiver tip on this stretch. I mean, but the, the little deep holes are tiny, so it's not the sort of place you're going to want to spend an afternoon sat trotting. Um, it's definitely a roving sort of place. I think I'm going to kind of re-tackle with uh, just like a little little chubber float or a little um, little puddle chucker style, uh, and then pop down and, and see what I can do on a little rove, and then you know maybe maybe do a few miles on foot, seeing what I can see. Just maybe rolling a bit of luncheon meat or a bit of bread, so let's see if we can get any of the better roach or chub out. There you go guys, first Ingerborn perched. Only a tiddler, but the best fish I've had all day and the best fish I've had out of here. Well pleased with this. Didn't get it on the GoPro unfortunately, but it's a fantastic little fish. Single white maggot and on the micro gear, that was brilliant. Well guys, gonna call it a night. It's uh, 20 to 10, I can't believe it's got that late to be honest. Um, I'm all right, no one tells me off, but I think Lee's gonna get in trouble with his missus, so I'm sorry for keeping you out late, Lee. Um, just, uh, yeah, just found, a, um, didn't get any more off that little perch, um, but we found a really cool pond. Um, just like quite a small pond and just as we were walking past I noticed a few little ripples on the surface and there was just a patch in the reeds on the edge that you could just about get to right next to a main road I don't think anyone's ever fished there before it's just like a, another one of these drainage ponds I think it must drain the A13 I expect and so it's just like a settling pond a balancing pond a few little ripples and so Lee had a heavier float on the mini just just get it in between these reeds and he just cast out into the middle and um, two seconds the float dived under and out popped a half pound rud. Absolutely cracking, absolute stunning fish. Fish of the day, rud, best rud I've ever seen come out of anywhere in London. Um, so definitely warrants more investigation. Where there's rud, there might be tents, there might be carp. So yeah, new, found a new pond, so really excited about that. Um, the micro fishing did what it said on the tin, it was definitely micro, um, no specimens. Although there's some nice fish just topping, just in this little pool behind me there. Um, couldn't couldn't get any of them to to take it, and um, found a little spot that someone had put us onto for some chub, and and um, actually did disturb a couple in the margins. Not big, only maybe you know you know half a pound tops, um, but nice to see that that there are some better fish in this tiny little creek. To be honest, um, 
so yeah it's only a short video for you hopefully you've enjoyed it i'm getting eaten alive if you see what i'm, if I'm sort of like i'm twitching around i'm getting paranoid i just had mozzies and gnats keep landing on my legs so i've put shorts on and i've been stung by stinging nettles as well so i'll leave it there hopefully you've enjoyed that as much as i've enjoyed making it i do like these sort of little unusual things um yeah the fishing has not been specimen hunting but um it's been it's been good fun I've, I've enjoyed it so hopefully you've enjoyed it too and i'll see you guys all on the next one cheers guys fish on